Evening, welcome to the October 20th, 2016 Northern City School Board of Education meeting. Would you call the roll, please? Horsley. Here. Miracle. Here. Faulkner. Here. Bryant. Here. Scott Tracy. Here. That was the prize for the pledge. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Moving on to item four on our agenda, can I get a motion for the adoption of the agenda? So moved. Motion by Mr. Miracle, can I get a second? Second. Second by Ms. Scott Geraci, any discussion? Call the roll, please. Miracle? Yes. Scott Geraci? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Horsley? Yes. Faulkner? Yes. Item five, approval of minutes. Can I get a motion for the approval of the minutes as listed? So moved. Motion by Ms. Horsley, can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Bryant, any discussion? Call the roll, please. Horsley? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Scott Dracy? Yes. Miracle? Yes. Faulkner? Yes. Item six is presentations. Mr. Modio. Thank you, Mr. Faulkner. We'd like to start out the board meeting this evening with our um, monthly uh, presentation that we have, or monthly, monthly recognition, where we focus on the tremendous things that our students and our staff are doing with technology in the classroom. Now, for many years, when you think of technology, it was a couple computers in the classroom over on a table. When you had time, the students went over there and got some work done, and the teacher had a computer on, their, on his or her table, and that was technology in the classroom. Uh, several years ago, our district made an investment where every student, grades 2 through 12, actually has a personal laptop Google Chrome computer. And with the great work and training that our staff has put in, that our staff does, has totally transformed instruction, learning, and education in the classroom in the Norwood City School District. So each month we like to spotlight the amazing things that we're doing in the classroom, that our teachers are doing, the engagement with our staff, with our students, and how it truly has transformed education in Norwood City School District as we knew it as, as early as just two or three years ago. So I'd like to introduce Ms. Sarah Smith, Ms. Melissa O'Connor, who is a Norwood High School graduate, um, to present on what are the great things that Williams Avenue Elementary is doing in the classroom. So the floor is yours, guys. My name is Sarah Smith. I teach third grade all the language arts um, at Williams. And I'm Melissa O'Connor and I teach third grade science, social studies, and math. So we're going to talk really quickly about why we use technology in our classroom. It allows the students to have some independence. It builds strong content knowledge. It differentiates students, especially using Google Classroom, differentiates their needs. It deepens their learning by using resources that they're actually interested in and have a lot of experience with. And teachers and students can publish, share, and collaborate with one another. So we're going to talk about the integration of technology, the I do, we do, you do strategy. Um, the I do is what the teachers do. The we do is how we collaborate as teachers, how we work together with students, and how we kind of do it all in one and then the you do is the student what they do so we're going to start off with the i do we use the document camera all day every day we use it to model um, anything whether it's a picture book or an activity that we're doing just to reiterate directions the student work they like to come up and be the teacher and show what their work looks like we also do a lot of powerpoints to teach certain skills um, I use a handheld voice recorder in my classroom where students can read and then they'll play it back and listen to themselves and evaluate their reading and then that goes straight onto my computer. I can email it to parents. We also use um, technology for assessments for our Ames Web, the math assessments that third graders take, our air assessment. 
Um, I also started a blog a couple of years ago where I um, reflect on my teaching. So that's something that I do with technology. And then we also incorporate flocabulary and brain pop pretty much every day in our classroom. Um, so I was going to show you what flocabulary looks like since that's new to our district this year. It's one of my favorite um, things to incorporate. So the, the vocabulary, it really hits music and rhythm and it's all about, it turns the skill into like a rap song, which then is really engaging for the students. They can go on here and they can listen to them just to kind of um, review a certain skill. And then it also has lessons and activities that teachers can do. So I was just gonna show just a few seconds of what one of the videos looks like and sounds like and it's not going to let me, so. Sing it for us, Miss Smith. <laughs> you know, I totally could sing it for you because they, they get. <laughs> no, seriously, <don't. laughs> you know, um, We could do the fractions one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so they get, they're so catchy that, I'm just going to ignore that. There's, um, the songs are so catchy that I can, I hear the kids singing them throughout the day. And it's all like reading skills and math skills or science, social studies. So they're, they're rapping to things that, you know, that they're learning. It's, it's really awesome. I love it. Thank you, Ms. Chesson, for purchasing that. <laughs> All right, so some of the things that we do um, together with the students and the parents and other teachers is, um, Ms. Smith and I have, it's called Classroom Messenger, and it's an online program where we can send a message out to parents and it goes right to their phone. Um, we can we send home our newsletters this way. Um, we also like they they can sign up for conferences that way. They can last year we had a surprise end of testing party for the students and we sent a message out to the parents like we need these donations. Shh, it's a surprise, don't tell them. And the parents can log on like okay I'll bring the hot we do a baseball theme every year so we had a baseball party and they brought the hot dogs and the, it, it was just so nice because there was no paper going home. We can, Ms. Smith and I can check it from our phones. Um, the parents can also email us or text us back through that um, where it's just one-on-one -on -one with the parent and it's a nice way just a quick like, oh, I need to you know email that parent back about a question. Um, we can upload pictures into it and then send the pictures out. So when we're doing a math activity, um, with manipulatives or whatever, I can send the, a picture explaining what the activity was that day that we did in the classroom. Um, it's really cool, and it's all free, so that's the other fun part about it. <laughs> yeah. um, Ms. Smith already talked about the collaborative blogging. Um, we use teachers get on and blog, or we read others' blogs. It's uh, professional development for us. Um, Google Classroom is something that we can assign assignments to and the students can then log on and get do the assignment on Google Classroom and then it's sent back to us and we can grade it through the computer and send it back to them. Um, and we're going to talk more about that in a little bit. And then um, something Ms. Smith does with her students is she Skypes with authors, which is really cool. Um, do you want to say any more about that? Or? No, no okay. that's really cool. <laughs> um, so the classroom messenger, oh, sorry. here's an example of the classroom messenger, um, just how it works and how, what it does. So pretty much just everything that. And it can even show us exactly what parent didn't get the message. So it'll show us, oh, five got it, 16, um, haven't received it yet. <coughs> and it changes all the time. And it's, it's really cool for us to make sure that every parent saw our newsletter um, rather than, you know, hoping that the paper gets home and gets to the parent. So some of the things that the students do is they log on to Google Classroom. Some of the sites that they use are Epic and Raz Kids and Accelerated Reader, um, Newzella and the IXL, and then um, Greg Tang is a amazing mathematician that I would love to meet someday. Um, and his website is amazing. It has all these um, games on it that are interactive, but it makes this kid, it does a lot of repetitive fact practice, but it makes the kid think like, it's not just the boring flashcards. It, they use both sides of their brain and it makes them think about the problem that they're doing. Um, and we use Greg Tang picture books in the classroom, so it's a nice link between what we do in the classroom and also technology. Um, the students can research, 
they can email authors, and then they can publish their work. So one really awesome activity that Ms. Smith and I did together last year that we'll do again this year is, um, like Ms. Smith said, she teaches all the ELA, and I do the science and social studies. So this was a science project where we collaborated together um, to talk about animal ad adaptations. And so the student, we read all these books about animal adaptations, and then the students created their animal based on, or their person based on the adaptations and why they would want that adaptation for whatever um, adaptation they chose. And then we, they logged into Google Classroom and we uploaded videos of the books actually being read to them. So when they were doing their research, they could go back to that specific animal and find their evidence as to this is why I want big antlers or big hair or these kind of feet. So um, it was a lot of fun because we put all the kids in one classroom and we team taught together. And so they had both of us there. Ms. Smith was helping with the writing end of it. I was doing the science end of it. And the kids just had a lot of fun with it. They did. It was, and it wasn't something that, it just kind of happened. Like when after it was done over with, we were like, wow, this is so cool. And the kids had so much fun. So, um, and without the Google Classroom piece of it, I only had one copy of each book. So without the Google Classroom piece of it, the students wouldn't have been able to go back and actually find the evidence as to why they want to have big crazy hair or big antlers for their adaptation. They could just log into Google Classroom, they could listen to it being reread to them. Um, one of the books was so new that it wasn't, they couldn't listen, to, we couldn't find a video of it. So we took pictures of every page and then uploaded it into Google Classroom so that they had it. So it was, it was, re it was a really cool um, project that we did yeah. together. And it also helps the students kind of work at their own pace. Like, I hate when we, when I feel like I'm rushing the kids, whereas in this case with Google Classroom, they could find the research at their own pace, um, and it just, it was a lot more helpful. So that's it. That's cool. So that's questions? all we have. Mm -hmm. Got a question to you guys. I still can't believe you're not singing for us. <laughs> you have to come up to one of our classrooms. Okay, I will sing in the classroom. Yeah. So I'll be there. Okay. Um, how have you seen education change, or how do you teach change as a result of the Chromebooks and the technology, just from before you had them and now? I feel like we do a lot of more. Um, I feel like it's more engaging. It's not just paper pencil and repetitive you know, paper pencil activities. It's, we can do so much more with the technology that we have. Well, last week when the power went out, oh. it was really, like, it was a struggle, like, it was a struggle because we use our document camera every day, all day, um, to show student work. Ms. Smith had an assessment that she was gonna do on the computers that day with the kids that they couldn't do because we didn't have any power, you know, mm -hmm. so. Um, it was kind of yeah. a struggle that day, not having power and not being able to teach with our technology. And the kids were even like, can you show that again? I'm like, I can't, I erased it off the board already, <laughs> you know? So with a document yeah. camera, you can put their work back up there and show it again, or um, you can, the students can go up and, and well, put their work underneath the and document with camera. And with each reading skill, for the past few years, I've created a PowerPoint for every single reading skill. So I have a PowerPoint on main idea sequence just to keep the kids more engaged. And it's like the big foundation and introduction of that skill. And when the power went out, my goal was, well, I was supposed to teach the um, beginning of main idea. And that's a huge skill in third grade and it's hard. And so I had this awesome PowerPoint that I made and I couldn't do it. And I'm like, oh my God. <coughs> That's how I need to introduce main idea to them. So it, it's, it's been huge. How do you see the kids reacting to your instruction <clears throat> as compared to three years ago when you were having to do it like you had to power was out mm -hmm. as opposed to now? It's so natural for them. Yeah. They're, I just feel like technology is so much a part of their lives outside of school that there's little teaching time of how to log in, and right. it's just so natural for, for Well, and three years ago when we first got all the technology, we would spend a half uh, hour mm -hmm. just trying to get them logged into a website or logged in even to the computers, and now we don't even, it's like, go get your Chromebook, or get Even with in, typing skills, yeah. that took forever, and now it's just super easy. Um, 
Are we providing sufficient training and professional development support to our teaching staff? Yes. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, no. the more I bug Miss Chesson about getting vocabulary, she got it. With <laughs> I kept bugging her, so. Right. Well, I did walk by your guys' class and get the piles out, and you guys were teaching like crazy. So. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Still we just had to start over from. Yeah. We're like, okay, well, what do we do now? What do okay. we used to do? Revamp. Yeah. Right. Well, guys, well, thank you for your presentation. It was outstanding. What you do with the kids, we all appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See one of the struggles we have in this transition. This may not seem like real long ago, but uh, all the lighting in the entire building, especially here, is original. So that was 46 years ago. So technology has kind of changed over 46 years, even when turning on lights. So it's a little cumbersome. So I apologize. But I could tell you the next part of a board meeting, speaking on speaking for myself and the board of education, is is really our favorite because this is where we get to recognize children. Each month we recognize what we call our, what we uh, call our rising stars, and what our rising stars are students that are selected by teaching staff for the great things they're doing in their building, their attitude, their effort, their change, their um, their work ethic. Just that they are a true rising star, and they're somebody that our teaching staff and our principals want to brag on and send before myself and the board of education to get on television. So when I call your name, please come forward, see our board president, Mr. Faulkner, for a certificate, and then come down on the blue carpet right in front of the stage. Come on down as we begin all the way down to about me. And once everybody is up here, we've got a number of pictures to take. And then what is what I'm reading about you was presented by your teachers. That'll be in the next month's issue of the Norwood Star, as well as in the next day or two. It'll be on the front page of our website. And um, it's just a great honor for all of our children that are here for tonight. So I'd like to begin with our first rising stars, beginning with Norwood High School. Our Norwood High School rising star students for the month of October. Our first is Desmond Harris. Janelle Zacharias. And Joe Wilson. Now, reasons why they're here tonight. Mr. Lawler writes, Desmond Harris has been an outstanding student in my American government class. He is well informed on current events and is following the upcoming presidential election closely. He will ask great questions and is always willing to give input about the topics we discuss. He also does a great job on assignments and assessments. Desmond is an outstanding kid who makes class better for everyone. Mr. Norwell added that it's a great honor to nominate Desmond as the Nord High School Rising Star. I've only known Desmond for about a month, but it's no surprise that he would receive the Rising Star Award. Desmond has shown endless amounts of effort and determination within the classroom. He's also taken ownership of his learning and has set high expectations for himself. He is a very kind, punctual, and easygoing young man. Desmond is a positive example for the other students at Norwood High School. Congratulations, Desmond. For Janelle Zacharias, 
Mrs. Stacy writes, Giannelli Zacharias is in my photography class with two Spanish-speaking students who are limited in their command and comprehension of English. Janelli always volunteers to translate classroom materials to the students. She was always willing to work in cooperative learning groups with the students to assist them in the class and in learning English. North High School is very fortunate to have a student like Janelli. We appreciate her willingness to be a leader in the classroom. Congratulations, Janelli. Next are our rising star student for the month rising star students for the month of October for Nord Middle School. Start with Juan Samancas Valero. <laughs> Kaylee Burns. <laughs> and William Jones. Nord Middle School is proud to announce Juan Samancas as the Rising Star student for the month of October. Juan is always a friendly, hardworking, and well-rounded student since he transitioned to the middle school. Juan attributes his success in class to taking notes, asking for help, and always trying his best in school. Along with his excellent, excellent academic example, Juan also participates in a variety of after-school clubs, including skateboard club and homework help. As well as staying busy in clubs, Juan wants to make the most of his academic experience by getting straight A's and B's throughout his middle school career. Eventually, Juan wants to apply to college and study computer programming or even get a scholarship to play soccer. Nord is expecting great things from Juan in the future. Students like Juan make Norwood Middle School a Hall of Fame school and make Norwood City School great. Congratulations, Juan. Nord Middle School is proud to announce Kaylee Burns as a rising star student for the month of October. Kaylee is the epitome of a great student and she's an excellent example for the rest of the seventh grade. She's a well-rounded, driven, and kind student. Moreover, she tries to do her best in school, study for tests and quizzes, and always pays attention to the teacher's directions. Kaylee's work ethic has made quite the impression on her teachers, who unanimously nominated her for this honor. In her spare time, Kaylee enjoys personal reading, in the short term, she would like to get straight A's all through her middle school career. Long term, Kaylee wants to graduate high school, get accepted to college, and study to become a lawyer someday. Nord is expecting great things from Kaylee Burns in the future. Students like Kaylee make Nord Middle School great. Hall of Fame School and Norwood City Schools great. Congratulations, Kaylee. <laughs> Nord Middle School is proud to announce William Jones as a rising star student for the month of October. As an eighth grader at the middle school, Will makes it his personal goal to demonstrate all the school's pride and peace builder characteristics in the way he is always willing to help others. Will is an exemplary student and a leader among his peers. As a member of ATP, the academically talented program at the middle school, he consistently combines his academic talents with his intense motivational drive and stamina to excel in everything he does. Along with his academic efforts, Will plays middle school football and hopes to join the basketball team this winter. Last year, Will also participated in the chess club with Avenues for Success and plans to join again this year. In addition, Will has set some short and long-term goals for himself. He plans to earn straight A's all through middle school and successfully graduate high school in the class of 2021. Eventually, he would like to apply to MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and pursue a career in technology. Nord Middle School is expecting great things from Will Jones in the future. It's the people like him that make Nord Middle School and Norwood City School great. Congratulations, Will. <laughs> Will. Next is Sharpsburg Elementary and Primary School, starting with Christina Hall. <laughs> Tessa Williams. And Ansley Braden. <laughs> Thus far in the year, Christina Hall has proven herself to be a leader in the classroom. She consistently demonstrates determination, fortitude, and resiliency. When asked to learn something new and challenging, she jumps in with both feet. 
She is excited to learn, enthusiastic to participate, and unafraid to ask questions when challenged. She routinely assists her classmates with whom she works. Christina can be trusted to follow all teacher directions, ensuring smooth transitions and no interruptions to learning. She has a smile and personality that are infectious. Students like Christina make learning fun for everyone in the room. We look forward to continuing to work with her throughout the course of the year. Keep up the great work, Christina. Great job. <laughs> the first grade teachers are proud to announce Tessa Williams as our rising star. Tessa comes to school on a daily basis with a bright smile and a light that shines from within. Her beautiful little grin and genuine happiness are contagious. Tessa, I bet you're smiling up there, aren't you? <laughs> She is one of those people who makes others just feel special, loved, and glad to be around her. Tessa begins each day with a lovely greeting for everyone she sees, and that continues throughout the day. She is always prepared for class and works diligently each day. Tessa is a model for others as she can always be found to persevere in her learning and is always eager to learn new things. She outwardly celebrates any new understandings and expresses a sheer enjoyment when she does master a concept. Tessa is honest and trustworthy and can always be counted on to do the right thing. Due to num these numerous reasons, we are honored to have Tessa as a rising star and are grateful to be learning and growing with her every day. We know that Tessa will be a star for the rest of her life. Congratulations, Tessa. <laughs> Ansley Braden is a great role model and a member of the third grade group this year. She's a hard worker who participates in class and is ready to come to school to learn. Ansley has a smile and a positive attitude, even when things she's learning are difficult. She puts in the effort and tries even harder the next time. She was always willing to help the teachers and all the other students around her. Ansley is encouraging to others and is a great friend to her peers. She consistently makes good choices and urges others to do so well. Great job and keep up the great work, Ansley. Next is Nordview <coughs> Elementary. Nordview Elementary's rising star students for the month of October are Charlie McGovern. <laughs> Denarian Jones Freeman. <laughs> and Maya Thompson. Charlie McGovern is a Nordview Rising Star student for the month of October. Charlie's a kindergartner in Mrs. Tanner's room. Charlie is an amazing student who works hard and always tries his best. He is adored by all of his classmates and teachers. Charlie is a friend to all of his fellow students. He is kind, helpful, and loves to learn. He is an amazing artist. Charlie is a good citizen, exemplifying champ behavior and respect towards all. We're lucky to have Charlie at Nordview. Congratulations, Charlie. Fourth grade teachers in Nordview have chosen Maya Thompson as our October Rising Star student. Maya works hard and consistently strives for excellence in the classroom. She comes to class prepared, participates in classroom discussions, and is focused and attentive at all times. She has a strong desire to do well and is willing to put in the extra effort needed to be successful. She doesn't hesitate to ask questions when she doesn't understand the content being taught. Maya's favorite subject is math, and she enjoys doing extra problems in her free time. In addition, Maya is a pleasure to have in class. She is very kind and respectful to her teachers, other students, and the staff at Norview. She is always willing to help others in any way that she can. We are very proud of Maya. We know that she will continue to work hard and be successful for many years. Congratulations and way to go, Maya. Mm -hmm. In our final building, Williams Avenue Elementary School Rising Star students for the month of October are Jasmine Garcia, <laughs> Lauren Dakers, <laughs> and Razel Olschlager. Jasmine Garcia is the sixth grade rising star for September at Williams Avenue Elementary. Jasmine is a confident student who is also hardworking, humble, and kind. Her positive attitude is contagious and she can brighten anyone's day with her cheerful demeanor. She works very hard to meet her goals and always tries her best in the classroom. Jasmine goes above and beyond with her schoolwork and to ensure that she has high grades. 
She aids those near her when they are struggling or need a helping hand. She is courteous to others, including students, staff members, and even substitute teachers. We can count on Jasmine to be a peace builder who always works to the best of her ability. She shows good sportsmanship in a playground and promotes a positive environment wherever she is. She gives her best effort to no matter the, she gives her best effort no matter the situation and is always incredibly polite and respectful. We are proud to have Jasmine as a rising star for the month of December. We know that she will continue to rise into the challenges as she continues through Norwood City Schools. Jasmine, congratulations, job well done. Lauren Dakers is a fifth grade rising star at Williams Avenue Elementary. Lauren exemplifies all of the qualities of a rising star student on a daily basis. She works hard in class and gets excellent grades. When she can't understand a concept, she seeks out assistance from a teacher or friend so that she can master the concept. Lauren works cooperatively in groups in all subjects and helps others understand concepts that they may be struggling with in class. She is a peace builder and a champ student daily. She works hard to set the example for other students to behave in this same way. She has a great attitude and comes every day to learn. Keep up the great work and congratulations, Lauren. Raisel Olschlager is, the fourth grade, is a fourth grade student who works extremely hard at Williams Avenue Elementary. She loves reading so much that she's rarely found without a book in her hand. She's always kind to others, cooperative and helpful in the classroom. When she smiles, it's simply contagious. She is remembered by all of her teachers as a student who works diligently and continually strives to improve and grow. She has become a true peace builder and a role model for others. We are so pleased to have a rising star like Raisel as a part of our fourth grade team. Congratulations. <laughs> One thing that I can tell you that is always impressive about our Rising Star students for the month of October is this is early in the school year and these children in front of me have made that immediate impact on their fellow students and their teachers. So all of our Rising Star students every month are special and should be honored. But for these young men and women before us, to be able to, in six, seven weeks of school, stand out that much to their teachers, and not just the teachers they have in class, but throughout the building, that's a true honor, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I do need to make an apology. Uh, with an A like an O, like grew up with the getting pronounced every other way than a modio. So I need to apologize to Raziel. Did I say it correctly? Uh, I need to apologize. We need to be honored correctly on television. So Raziel, congratulations.
So at this time of each board meeting, we take a couple minute break because we need more pictures of you guys. Okay? So if you can follow our executive assistant, Ms. Havlin, out in the lobby. We've got some more pictures, individual pictures to take of you because that's going to go on the paper and on the website. Congratulations, game Bye. So you got, you got stood up by an eighth grader. I know. <laughs> I was up there going to ask oh, Christine going to pull that one off. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting he's only in the eighth grade. He's only in the eighth grade. He's a big young man. Yeah. 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 He kind of scrunched in there with Jerry was going. I know. He's like, oh, he's like the biggest gentle guy you'll ever meet. Uh, oh, he's, he's just a good kid. I'm used to that, you know. He's a good kid. Man. I know. My wife She's actually. Right in. Kenny's uh, going to take care of us. When his parents got, first got married, my wife actually took the pictures at their wedding. Oh, really? And <laughs> later they ended up getting divorced. Yeah, you know, this is uh, the mom and dad really did. They were all like, really good. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. a big yeah. yeah. You're all right, but they were worried about you, man. You were skip, yeah. you were skipping. You got me and Cherry tickled. Big. This is the penny's probably not done yet. No. Uh, it was funny because his mom was big. Yeah, I'm 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 I was smiling politely. Yes, you, <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Did you do it, Kenny? We're ready. All right, we're going to move on with our agenda, item 7A, or item 7, the education report. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion for approval of the resolution of appointment to Great Oaks Career Campuses Governing Board. 
I have a motion. Can I get a second? I'll second. Second by Ms. Gattrey. Yeah. Uh, first motion by Ms. Gattrey. Second by Ms. Morsley. <laughs> you need a penny down there. Uh, any discussion? Roll <laughs> <laughs> roll, please. Scott Dracy? Yes. Horsley? Yes. Miracle? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Faulkner? Yes. <laughs> item 8 on the agenda is personnel, Mr. Modio. Yes, Mr. President, members of the board, I have several items for your consideration this evening under item 8, personnel. Letter A, retirement, one individual. Letter B, employment, number one, classified substitutes, 2016-17 school year, have six individuals. Number two, student assistance and student age, 2016-17 school year, four individuals. Number three, change of status, four individuals. Number four, resolution to hire non-certified coaches advisors, 2016-17 school year. Number five, supplemental contracts, 2016-17 school year. Two career ed coordinators, two under athletics, five under band, and eight under avenues for success. And that concludes my Items this evening under personnel. Can, we, can I get a motion to accept items 8A? So moved. Motion by Mr. Miracle. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Ms. Scott Geraci. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Miracle? Yes. Scott Geraci? Yes. Horsley? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Faulkner? Yes. Item 9 is the policy report. I'd like to make a motion for the approval of um, the policies as listed, Title I programs and the parental involvement in education. I have a motion. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Bryant. Um, just these are just renewals. They're not anything new. It's just we got to renew these each mm -hmm. year. So or every so often we get them. So um, any other discussion? Call the roll, please. Faulkner. Yes. Bryant. Yes. Horsley. Yes. Miracle. Yes. Scott Dracy. Yes. Item 10, building and grounds, Mr. Bryant. Uh, yes, Mr. President, with the board's approval, I'd like to, for the final uh, items, A, uh, approval resolution uh, declaring transportations to Summer Country Day. Item B, approval of transportation reimbursements. And item C, uses facilities one through five, please. I have a motion, can I get a second? Second. Second by Ms. Scott Geraci, any discussion? Call the roll, please. <laughs> Bryant? Yes. Scott Dracy? Yes. Horsley? Yes. Miracle? Yes. Faulkner? Yes. I'm 11 finance report, Mr. Miracle. Thank you, Mr. President. By recommendation of the committee, I'd like to make a motion for item 11A, approval of the five year forecast. Item B, approval of resolution, City of Norwood TIF agreements. <coughs> item C, approval of financial reports, September 2016. Item D, approval of inventory items to be recycled. And item E, approval of purchase orders over twenty thousand dollars. We have a motion. Can we get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Bryant. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Miracle. Yes. Bryant. Yes. Horsley. Yes. Scott Dracy. Yes. Faulkner. Yes. I have twelve here in the public. We have no requests to speak this evening. Moving on to item thirteen, board announcements. Anyone? Okay, item 14, superintendent's report, Mr. Bodia. So, Mr. Faulkner, I just have a few items in my superintendent's report. Um, I just want to wish best of luck to all of our fall sport athletes, as majority of our uh, fall sport athletes are in um, postseason play, as in football, is still in regular season play, and they continue their quest to uh, win their second SBC title in, in three years. And then, as usual, our marching band continues their traditional march of uh, success through all the statewide competitions. And we will have them here as our tradition to display all of their trophies and awards at the November uh, board meeting. So best of luck to all of our student athletes over the next week or two as we're continuing to move through state postseason tournament. That concludes my items for this evening. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. Uh, item 15, Grado Report, Ms. Morrison. Yes, so um, we have appointed Lynn Ellis to represent the board for Great Oaks, and she will be attending the next meeting with me in November. And then going forward, she will be um, providing information and reporting back status updates on the Great Oaks um, you know, relationship and what's going on with that board, and then we will be presenting it out at the meetings going forward. But um, for the meeting last month, I was unable to attend because of work travel. Item 17, legislative, I'm sorry, item 16, evidence for success. Yes, so um, the clubs are up and running. Um, they're very busy right now. 
um, with the Avenues for Success, getting all those clubs pulled together and um, going forward we are going to reinvest investigate how we present information back to the board um, so that it's actionable and informational. Good. Thank you, Ms. Horsley. Item 17, legislative report, Mr. Miracle. I have nothing to report out this, this month, Mr. President. All right. Thank you, Mr. Miracle. <coughs> Item 18, meeting notifications. All meetings listed below will be held at the Board of Education meeting, unless otherwise designated. Uh, the committee meeting Tuesday, November the 8th, 2016 at 5.30, and then the regular board meeting Thursday, November 17th, which is here in the mini auditorium at 6. Um, I'd like to make a motion for approval of, of these. Can I get a second? Second. Second by uh, Mr. Bryan. Call the roll, please. Faulkner? Yes. Bryant? Yes. Horsley? Yes. Miracle? Yes. Scott Tracy? Yes. Okay, there's no other items for I get a motion for adjournment. So moved. So moved. Motion by Mr. Miracle, second by Mr. Scott Tracy. Call the roll, please. Miracle. Yes. Scott Tracy. Yes. Horsley. Yes. Brian. Yes. Faulkner. Yes, we are adjourned at 648. <laughs> you all are not right. <laughs> <laughs>